What's up everybody, Tim Anderson here, aka Renfail. Today we're jumping in to Vanguard a Saga of Heroes on the emulator server, and we're going to be showing you the harvesting tutorial, walking you through this quest line and showing you how to harvest in this game. Now it's worth noting that the harvesting tutorial is pretty much the same no matter where you do it. I'm currently on the starter island, but you can choose to do whatever you want. I've done it in Tersh Village, a couple of other places. So today we just happen to be here in the starting island with one of my other alts. I wanted to show people uh, what the harvesting system looks like uh, in the game. So we're gonna run through this today and get you right into harvesting. So the first thing you're going to see when you come here is that you have a variety of harvesting skills, just like you do in other games. Um, they'll give you an introduction to harvesting, which you could just pick up. There's some general quest information here, and they talk about um, what you have. But what's really unique about Vanguard is the fact that you have different sets of gear. So if you open this up, you'll notice that on my character tab, I, on the left-hand side, there are various... Uh, tabs which you could choose the first one of course is your adventuring tab the second one is your crafting equipment the third one is your harvesting equipment then you also have one for diplomacy one for your mount and of course your pants now what's important here is for the harvesting and in the quest dialogue you'll notice that it says to equip the axe open the character sheet and click on the harvesting tab right click to open the belt and put the axe inside then to begin harvesting Simply approach sapling, blah, 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 blah. The sapling isn't the important part. What the important part is, is that you can take your harvesting axe and you need to equip it here in your main slot. You'll need to bind it, of course. Now, after this, what's really important is this worn harvesting tool belt, which you can open up and it has a variety of slots. That's going to be very important later on after we get through the initial harvesting tutorial because you're going to put additional tools in here beyond what you'll need for your personal harvesting. That might not sound like it makes sense right now, but it will make sense as we get deeper into the video, I promise. So now that we've got our axe equipped, we can go ahead and get going. It's worth noting that as they say here in the tutorial, you get a primary harvested skill and a secondary harvested skill. You only get two, but there are a lot more than two in the game. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more towards the end. Plus there is some dialogue during the harvesting tutorial, which will help guide you through this process so right now he just says bring him back a sapling log so we're going to run down here to one of the, these starter trees we're going to go ahead and click it there is a animation shake which can get bugged from time to time if it does you could just slash forward slash flush and it will flush the ui and kill the animation shake um there is a timer as you notice and as you're going down you're gathering some sapling logs once a tree has fallen, you will need to harvest it. Simply right click where you have the bag icon. You'll notice you get these and you can take all. Once you've completed that, you can run back and talk to the NPC. Say, hey man, I'm done. I brought your stuff. This is where the dialogue starts to guide you towards one of the coolest features of Vanguard Saga of Heroes which is group harvesting. It says here, if you ever encounter a resource that's too difficult to harvest alone, try to find someone to help. If any group member starts harvesting a resource, other group members can help. Now, group harvesting was a feature that, kind of like, you know, if you guys remember, or if you've ever played EverQuest 2, the um, collection system in EverQuest 2 was really, really unique, and it was something that helped EverQuest 2 stand out from the pack. This is one of those things. Diplomacy as a sphere was one of the things that helped set Vanguard apart, but also the fact that you could do group harvesting. Um, in terms of bringing in more resources per harvest, when you're group harvesting, you get more items from a node, uh, higher chances of rares, so on and so forth, in the live game. I'm not quite sure exactly how it's working here on the emulator server, but the point is um, you can harvest resources together as a unit. Now... There's more to it than that, which we'll talk about here in a bit. So take this pair of leggings, they'll assist you with harvesting. There's some dialogue here you can read through. But basically, if you hover over these new pants, it says you get, um, you get plus 0 0.031 minimum units per hit. So you get a, ball, a small bonus to your damage range for harvesting. So when you get those, 
simply open up your harvesting equipment tab right click those and it will equip them in place of the initial harvesting trousers that you had in the game and of course they do have a different visual um, so start to look a little cooler here now it says harvesting training sapling timber he says now that you've learned a little bit of harvesting i have another small task for you harvest some more saplings and bring me back two timbers it says you can make a timber by harvesting 20 wood logs and combining them if you are skilled you may even manage to harvest a timber from a single tree now a couple of these things are important here to combine logs into timber simply right click on a stack of 20 or more and go from that now um, in my inventory i only have three sapling logs right now i need a total of 20 to make one timber and what's interesting is that right now if i go in here and, and click here if you remember this this timer bar that's counting down as i'm harvesting a sapling log as you get higher skill points in harvesting or specifically in lumberjacking um, you will start to get more sapling logs per harvest plus the occasional timber as he mentioned in the dialogue now that is not going to happen here because we're at lobies and we don't actually have our oh that one chopped right away without any sort of animation sequence that was interesting it's an emulator ladies and gentlemen that one also looks like the animation sequence is bugged. That's not supposed to be like that, ladies and gents. This one's working as normal. When you encounter bugs on the emulator server, treat it like you would a bug in any early access game. I think they even say in the message of the day um, to, to think about that. Can I do like the message of the day? No, I can't at the moment. Hang on, there we go, I need to harvest this tree. Chop, 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 chop. This is the perfect time for me to say while I'm chopping this log. If you like what you see today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can get updates for all the content that I produce here on YouTube, whether it's Vanguard Saga of Heroes, Lord of the Rings Online, World of Warcraft Classic, EverQuest, or the other games that I play. Don't forget, you can also support the channel with a super chat uh, or super sticker during live streams or a super thanks down below on these uploaded videos where you can choose the amount that you want to contribute to my channel, which is a great way of supporting everything I do here on YouTube as I attempt to go full time as a content creator. You can also join as a member of the channel. Links are down there. It's the Adventurer's Guild for $2.99 a month, and you can gift memberships to other play players it's really cool the way youtube is creating more abilities for us streamers and content creators we'll also a patreon page patreon.com forward slash winery hermits if you like fifth edition tabletop point and click adventure games like the old king's quest stuff and book series like dragon lance you might like it it's what my brother and i are creating with my wife nathan napalm's doing artwork for us bounty code sparrow's daughter becca has done some creature art all good stuff Back to the chop, chop, chop of the wood. We have 31. We need 40 in total. 31 sapling logs. Once we have 40, we're going to go ahead and do the combine. And turn in the quest. Mm, one, possibly two more harvests. So you'll notice I'm getting skill ups in harvesting, but not in any one skill like lumberjacking, and that's because I haven't actually chosen a primary or secondary skill yet. One more, we'll be done. Looks like the animation is bugged on this one too. There it goes. Oh, yeah, definitely bugged out a little bit. It's all good. Emulator, folks. Keep that in mind. Are we gonna get any actual sapling logs out of this one? It's catching up. All right. 
Now if I right click on these, it'll say convert 43 sapling logs to two sapling timbers, three sapling logs. We're gonna click the convert button. It'll automatically take care of that in my inventory. And we'll get a completion for that and we'll be able to come over here and turn this quest in. I ran too far, I ran around the corner. All right, there are two denominations of any resource. The highest denomination is what I use to craft items. So these timbers will be what I use to actually create items as opposed to the saplings, which are just the lowest denomination. And I got a chest piece out of that, which I can go ahead and equip. Now they want me to choose a skill. Blacksmithing needs ore from mining. Artificers make use of gemstones and minerals from quarrying as well as wood from lumberjacking. And outfitters need leather from skinning and textile plants for reaping. Choose any two. If you want to know more about any of these, you can, of course, talk to the NPC. But I'm going to simply choose um, mining. I'm going to choose mining. As my primary and then as my secondary I'm gonna choose skinning just like so once I've chosen those th those two things I'm gonna turn in the quest get a pair of boots go ahead and equip those and now we've completed the primary quest but what's really important here is that We've chosen our initial skills, but we don't have any tools other than the axe that he gave us. Now, we don't have any coin yet because we haven't actually ran any quests, but I am going to show you something that's very, very important to the rest of the game and group harvesting in particular. Remember that worn harvesting tool belt that I told you about where you could put more than one type of tool? Well, there are a variety of types of tool. You have an axe, a pickaxe, a sickle, a skinny knife, and a hammer. Now, there's also the starter versions which cost nothing. So, you know, we can go ahead just for the sake of showing you guys, I can I can purchase these but not the other ones. So we've already got the rusty axe, right? So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the, uh, the um, stonemason hammer, the sledgehammer, skinny knife, sickle, and the pickaxe. Now, in my inventory, those have now been put in here and I'm gonna have to bring them in and, and soul bind them we're going to drag them down into my tool belt now what this effectively does is right now i only have two things that i can harvest there's a pickaxe we're going to run over here and we're going to show you really quick um, some of what the harvesting nodes look like but basically um, there are a variety of nodes that you can harvest and every time you harvest a type of node, it will automatically switch to the tool that is required for that node, assuming that two things are happening. One, that you have the skill to harvest that node, or and two, that you have one of those types of tools equipped in your tool belt. Now, you can only have two different Harvested skills, a primary and secondary. So why did I go buy a whole bunch of other tools? Why did I put all these tools in my tool belt? Well, remember that group harvesting that they talked about earlier? So let's say that I had someone with me and we came up on this jute plant. Now, if I click on this jute plant, I can't do anything with it because it says you must have at least one reaping skill to begin harvesting this resource. But if, if I'm in a group with someone and I have this rusty sickle to reap textile plants and someone else in my group has the skill to start the reaping of this node, I can then join in on the harvesting and I can help them reap this plant. I can help them harvest this node and they will get a better reward than what they would get if they were doing it on their own, which is a brilliant system. Now, it's not necessarily always working as intended here on the emulator server, but it is here. So you'll notice that I'm here, I'm harvesting, we're gonna we're gonna get this mining node. We're gonna get these copper chunks. Booyah! There we go. Then you just loot it like you would normally, but this time you'll notice I got a mining skill as well as harvesting skill, which is a little different. 
because I didn't just get harvesting, I'm also going towards my mining, which is a separate harvesting skill from just the overall harvesting um, updates. So mining is a class specific, in this case, towards my actual mining class, which I chose. One of the two primary and secondary skills that you could take. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. That's harvesting in Vanguard Saga of Heroes. You can either do it on your own, or you can do it in a group. I always recommend doing harvesting in a group if you can. Uh, again, I know we were talking today during the live stream, so depending on when you watch this video, I believe group harvesting is in. The developers are saying it was in, it's working, but it was turned off as of today, which is the day I'm recording this. Um, because of some bugs and issues that they're working on. But group harvesting is in now, so you can go out there and explore with your friends and get nodes together and go back and use those to do crafting. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to get more updates, and I'll see everybody in the next video.